one of the problems I routinely have is moving fairly heavy things like this. Uh, I don't know exactly what weight it is, probably about 50-60 kilos. Uh, getting it into a van, getting it onto a trailer, whatever. Relatively small height shifts, but uh, things that are fairly hard to do on your own. So I'm thinking about a crane. I could go, go and buy an engine crane, but slowly pumping it up and all the hassle of that is not really what I want. I want something that I can instantly lift this up, stick it in the van. So that's today's challenge. So this is a basic concept. Uh, there's going to be two poles sitting up uh, from a frame that's uh, on the ground. The frame uh, will probably have some casters or something in the future. But I have put it the exact width for a pallet truck, which might be a useful option if it could be clamped to a pallet truck in some way. Uh, it would give some added weight to it um, while keeping it reasonably portable. Uh, I'm, I'm still thinking about what to do around that. But uh, up here, I'm thinking the arm coming out over and an arm goes out the back, which gives you leverage. And the theory being that if I can make the arm longer in the back than in the front, I gain in leverage. And, uh, and also I'm pressing down, uh, which is using my own weight rather than lifting up, which is requiring a lot of extra strength. That's the basic stand made. I've now slotted in a piece here which will sort of do that. I'll need to put a bolt through and make it do its thing. So I made up a hook on the front just by slotting that. It's slotted so that uh, as it comes back it can go inside the tube a wee bit. Still strong enough for the weight I'm talking about. Uh, I've got a bolt through the tubes here and then I've just used a shackle as a method of connecting this piece into that piece so that, which gives me the extension and I've got a shackle down here which I've got a plan that if I either want to put a puller on or anything I can do or I can even put a piece of rope to to lock it off uh, if I want to hold it there. Having done this, I used this length of metal from here down to the bottom because that was what I had lying around, but I don't feel it's long enough, so I'm going to extend it with another piece. So I'll need to weld that up. So you can see I've welded one in now, and that takes the height up. Probably need to match the height if I want to be particularly uh, obsessive about it. Uh, you can see how I've done that. I've just put one of the welding magnets on here to hold it in place. I do a tight weld on each corner. I'm not actually welding on the inside because I don't want it to catch uh, the crane of the cranes at this height. I want to have the option to have it still at this height but also be able to have it up near the top as well. So you can see I've got the line up pretty good on the holes. I did that by using a square to connect the dots through from one side to the other and then using that line to pretty much eyeball it as I was drilling. So you can see I've got the machine suspended here. It's just holding its own. And what I've done is I've lifted it by hand by pressing down on that and then locked off the rope puller um, or rope grab and that allows it to hold. Uh, something like that is perfectly fine for this kind of weight even at 3 to 1 uh, which it roughly is, is one there, one, two, three out to there uh, it's still well within the loading capabilities of, of the likes of this equipment and what I'm now going to do is make a sliding handle which means that I can get better loading by being further back if I want to, to make it easier myself or lift something slightly heavier. But 
of course, what I could do is put a puller in here between the shackle at the bottom and the shackle there. And obviously it's three to one against the puller, but I mean, I'm only talking about lifting a couple of hundred kilos. So there'd be 600 kilos of pull in there to lift 200 kilos, which, and I don't even think I would want to lift as much as 200 kilos on this. So you're probably talking maximum 120, 130 kilos lift. Just as an example as well, here's a chain block in there. And you can see that just by winding this, you can bring the chain up. So the last addition is the handle on the back here. That's it fully in. And then the hole there and last hole out near the end. So that gives a very long handle out to about six feet out roughly. Um, no, maybe five feet. Uh, so probably slightly more than two to one. So I've cut off the upstands and I've now got two pieces. I couldn't get a good fit on these, so I've added some angle to make them tight. But this will make an extending vertical section so that I can adjust the height of the pivot point. So for the extending uh, section, I've made up a pin here, just with a bent piece of bar, and just drilled it so that I can put a pin through. So I have, this is the highest setting, I have a one lower setting and the lower setting. I've also added a triangular section over the top here, uh, which has stiffened it up quite a bit. It means it doesn't want to bend at all uh, and would probably up the rating quite a bit, um, probably take well over 200 kilos now, uh, but very stiff at say 100 to 150, which is its intended use. So. It's working pretty well. Uh, it's got the extending handle. It's got the ability here to connect down and use a chain um, or a chain puller or ordinary puller, wire rope puller. It's got a pin now which comes through to there and this is able to extend up uh, two notches about a foot each time. And it also has the casters in the bottom which means that it can easily roll around which is ideal. So pretty happy with it. Uh, it's certainly very very quick to, to lift up. Um, if, you, if you want to connect into uh, something and just put it straight on a van, just roll it up, bring the hook down, hook it on from around the back and lever it up and then push it into the van and vice versa if you want to take something out. So it's far, far quicker than the, the crane hoist where you, uh, the like, engine lift type crane hoist where you're pumping away. Uh, anyone's got any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try and answer them. And uh, if you liked this video, give me a like and also be very grateful if you wanted to subscribe as well. I'll see you again soon on Project Build.